Ya Na labda mami kwa mtandao tuliona kuna watu walisema hauna nyumba. Sasa hapa unaishi ni kwa nani? Sasa hapa ni mahali nilikuwa naishi kuna ndugu yangu mkubwa. Mhm. Akaona batara ya kukaa kwa mama, akanipea nyumba, akaniambia wewe kaa hapo ili ndio utavutie pesa ukuje kuchengea nyumba yako. Ukichenga tena ndio niachie nyumba yangu. Mhm. Kwa hivyo mzee alizikwa mbele ya hii nyumba. Kaya alizikwa hapa hivi. Hata mkiangalia mtakaona mtaraba hapo. Mhm. So kwa sasa hivi mami ukiangalia kuna ombi lolote uko nalo ulikuwa umeomba jana usaidiwe kutoka kuna wasamalia wamekusaidia kutoka na wamefanya hiyo shopping ambayo unaona hapo pengine hmm. kuna ombi lolote pia uko nalo bado ama eh mimi kuna ombi yeah. tusime nyumba nataka mnisaidie hata chakula ya watoto watoto waende shule alafu ili nipate nyumba yangu nitoke mali ya wenyewe Mm. So unataka utoke kwa nyumba ya brother yako upate yako. Eh yeah, nipate yangu. Mhm. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so unaomba chakula na nyumba. Alafu una chuo simu? Chuo. Eh. Yeah. Mhm. Uh -huh. Alafu una ngombe ya kulisha watoto na kuna watoto wanaenda shule lakini sina pesa ya ya kuwachukia shule. Mhm. Uh -huh. mm. Ni watoto wangapi hao wako nyumbani hawaendi shule? Wako watatu. Unaweza tuambia wako kidato cha ngapi ama darasa la ngapi? Huyu mmoja aliachia kasiri tu si kukuwa na pesa. Mm -hmm. Alafu kuna mwingine ako form 2 ni saa hii. Lakini ako inja aende shule tu si kukuwa na pesa. Mm -hmm. Sasa vile nilienda nikachoka hivi. Mm -hmm. Na kuna mwingine anaenda kukaa saa hii kla, nini class hii kesi hii. Mm -hmm. Eh. Yeye ako shule. Kwa hiyo wako shule wote lakini sasa ni sema tangu nichoke mm -hmm. sasa wakaenda wakaacha shule lakini wanahitaji pia mtu anasema mama tuchukue kwa shule mm. asiye kukuja kupata ni sawati ya ni ya kesho mm. yeah. okay. hello hi guys good morning um, it is 8 am and we live from Bucha sub county hospital uh, it's based in Ogembo so yesterday we were here at around uh, 3 4 pm uh, we came visiting a lady Uh, by the name Linet Linet Nyanchawa or Kwere Kwere yeah who gave birth to triplets it's unfortunate that the husband passed away uh, last year late last year leaving her pregnant with uh, uh, the, the the triplets so after visiting her we found out that she was discharged but she didn't have the 6000 to pay the bill so this is why we're here today we want to go discharge her courtesy of well wishers So stay tuned as we uh, give you the updates and um, we'll take her home so that you can get to know from home uh, the situation there because
she told us she doesn't even have a toilet at home hello hello hi guys and welcome back to mary esther show and today i'm live from a place called kimai village sengera in uh, ogembo so yesterday you saw us upload some videos about uh, a lady who gave birth to triplets at Gucha sub county hospital in ogembo so she was stuck there for some days because there was a, a, a pending bill uh, about six thousand uh, so we came back to the hospital today and kufikia leo uh, we had a bill of eight thousand one hundred maybe my cameraman can zoom in hapo so kufikia leo uh, bill ilikuwa imefika elfu nane mia moja so pale kwa mtandao tulikuwa tumewambia kuna bill ya six thousand kufikia jana and some people walirusha mawe wakasema oh hakuna bill hakuna nini um, wakati tuliingia hospitali niliuliza mama kama watoto walipelekwa NBU mama akasema hapana so i assume labda hakuelewa NBU ni kusema nini so wakati leo nimeenda kwa billing office nimeambiwa watoto walikaa NBU for four days that is why we had the bill yeah so tumefika pale hospitali we were ready because we gave out the videos tukapatiana namba yake kuna well wishers welcome through kuna msichana anaitwa Drusilla yeye alisema atalipa hiyo bill yote but tumefika hospitali kufika pale tukaongea na watu wa revenues tukaongea na watu wengine wakasema wamepiga simu kwa admin na administration ya ogembo ikatoa hiyo bill so tulitoka hospitali bila kulipa chochote 